The following is an ESG 360 video. In this series of videos, I've been talking to my colleagues that cover specific segment areas of the IT technology world. It's so complex that sometimes it's hard to keep up with all the individual moving components. That said, today I'm joined by my colleague Kevin Roan. Kevin, you don't have a particular technology segment, but you do have what I think is an important element of how the technology world works these days, which is called channel acceleration. So let's start by what the heck is the channel these days and what is channel acceleration? That's a great question. Um, I lead uh, what we call the channel acceleration practice here at ESG. And what that means is that we work across all of the different um, technology areas, across all the segments with all of the analysts and colleagues on the technical side. Um, but we work more directly with the channel teams at our clients on issues of strategy, issues of programs, issues of execution and engagement with partners, really what I like to call the business side of taking technology to the market. How have things changed? I presume this has not stayed static. It used to be very much, you know, stuff in the channel and box shifting and so on. And how has it changed in your view of, of late? I think the simplest way to describe it is that it has, it has been transformed from a product-oriented, fulfillment-based, um, you know, the old, the old traditional term was pick, pack, and ship. That has gone by the wayside a few years ago. And now um, the channel is really oriented towards identifying, solving um, solutions problems with multiple vendors' technologies and delivering services around those to support them on an ongoing basis. So the role of the channel and the partners has transformed from fulfillment mm -hmm. to delivering um, business outcomes and, so and solutions. So that's how it's changed. Why has it changed? Does it drive the market or is it a response to what else is going on in IT? What's driving what, do you think, from the channel perspective? Well, in, in answer to your question about you know, um, why has it changed, is rooted in the fact that the partners themselves are not usually a leading indicator. They're an indicator of where the vendor community and then the, their customers want to go with using technology. The way they purchase it, the way they consume it, the way that they employ it. Um, and, and good channel partners maximize their ability to make money off the way that that business is transforming. Where is the value in this change? You've explained what's changed and, and some of why it's changing. Who gains from this? Is it, is it the vendors who just have a, an easier, better life if their channel is working better for them? Is it the end users? Is it the channel themselves or some mix of all the above? Well, the, the channel exists to connect vendors with innovative technologies and users that can um, utilize those technologies to improve their business, to make, you know, to be faster, to be more productive, to make more money. And um, as a result, the, the, the role of that partner is to figure out that link between the two. And that, and that has changed. Um, and that's the, the, the changing transformation of multiple business models, of as a service um, deployment, of SLAs and different, different service delivery components for them to allow the customers to utilize that technology as it changes. So it can be a win-win-win? Uh, um, well, we'd like to think that. <laughs> we'd like to think that. Ultimately, they connect the vendors with the users and create a winning formula for both of those and make a little bit of money along the way. Which is always good. Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you for explaining that. Thank you for watching.